Why, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel once again. Today, we're going to be using the Philadelphia Flyers, and every single time we lose a game, I have to make a trade. So I'll get a little bit more into the details as we get started here, but it's pretty... Self-explanatory for the most part. Here's the lineup for the Philadelphia Flyers. We have a plus five on the first line, which is pure heat with Atkinson, Couturier, and Konechny. But let's get more intertwined with the details, shall we? So I'm not going to count overtime losses as a loss. I think that at least, you know, we're getting a point out of that, so it's not a full loss. If we have just a flat-up L, though, a convincing loss, didn't go to overtime, then I'm going to have to trade a player, and they have to be a part of this lineup. I can't be trading players from the AHL or just draft picks, stuff like that. Someone from this lineup has to go. I just plugged Cam York in here instead because he gets a zero instead of, I think it was a dash three. It was pretty bad. We got a plus five on our first defensive pair and our first line. Every time we lose a game in regulation, you know the drill. One of those players has to go. Nice. Oh, it's an overtime loss. Never mind. Thought we were gonna have to make a trade already. The Seattle Kraken, another overtime loss. We're barely making it by here. A win. Florida Panthers will be our next matchup. And that will be an L. Alright, time to make a trade. I'm gonna try to do everything I can to not break up that first line. Or the top defensive pair. I don't know if this will go through or not. Thompson for Galchenyuk, one for one. But let's try it. Proposed trade. No. Alright. Uh, I'm probably gonna get out of here, actually. I know that I just put him in to sort of boost our defensive chemistry. But I'm gonna try to get Timothy Jimothy here and... Hopefully, they'll retain $2 million if I add in a draft pick. Let's see if they actually want any. They want our third. I still don't think this will work, but we'll try it. Ooh. Okay, we are not so keen in keeping the salary you want us to. I see you. But would you be so keen if I added in a 2023 fourth? No, still no. What about a 2023 third? We have three of them. Give me the Florida Panthers one. Huh? Still no. Okay. Well, we tried. Nate Thompson in a fourth for Hathaway. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, made a trade. Welcome the newest member to the Philadelphia Flyers, Garnett Hathaway. We've got back to back to back Western Canadian games here. The Edmonton Oilers, we get an overtime win. Vancouver Canucks are next and they will also be defeated by the Flyers. Calgary Flames will be an overtime loss, so we're safe there. Arizona will be a W. What about the Pity Pens? They will also give us a W. Wow, we're doing pretty good right now. Washington Capitals, another win. All right, we're doing good. Toronto Maple Leafs, there we go. I'm gonna try to get Sonny Milano at 82 overall, basically just to free up the cap that James Van Riemsdyk is currently handing to the Philadelphia Flyers. The cap hit, I should say. This might go through. Trade accepted. Sonny, welcome to the Philadelphia Flyers. Milano and Hathaway, the two new players are actually playing together here. This is where JVR was, so they just slotted him right in there. And we take another L immediately. Splendid. I don't think this will go through one for one, but I kind of want to try it. I know we're getting rid of York, who is really helping us out defensively there for that bottom pairing line chemistry, but whatever. Let's see. Trade rejected. Sweeney just a touch, eh? How about that? How about a seventh round pick? Is that enough for you? Nope, apparently not. What about six? Five is the highest I'm going. You're not getting a four out of me. All right, there you have it. Timothy Jimothy, now a part of the Philadelphia Flyers. Oh, Sealer gives us a zero anyway, so we're okay there. So I got the plus five. Oshie will be on the second line with Farabee and Hayes. We're looking okay. All right, let's jump back to it. Nice, a two-game win streak. Tampa Bay, will they hand us an L? No, they won't. We got the Boston Bruins now. They will be another W for us. Look at us go. We are shredding right now. Overtime loss. That doesn't count. We only want regulation losses. We beat the Florida Panthers. We're beating a lot of good teams here. Carolina, overtime loss, so we are still safe. Our roster can remain. We are on fire. And then we lose 5-2 to the Islanders. But that's okay. We went on a tear. My main goal here is just to get out of this Hayes contract. But if we're bringing in Stull, 5.7. He is 82 overall, but we would be getting Ranta as well. So we'd have two solid goaltenders freeing up. Not really much cap with these two added, but then we're getting two players instead of one. I don't even think this will go through, but let's try it. No. Sweden is just a touch. Oh, is a seventh enough for you is the question. Boom. 
There we go. So now we have Ranta and Hart as our two goaltenders, and our starting line has Jordan Stahl on the second line. Back-to-back -back losses to the New York teams. Time to make another trade. I'm not a big fan of this one, but we're basically trading an 85 defenseman for an 85 defenseman, but we're losing an ability in there as well because he does have three, and then Suter has two. I don't know. I don't know. Let's try it, though. We're getting a third as well. Okay, that's... That one didn't feel too good. Thankfully, there's still a plus five here, which I also entirely forgot about, so that's awesome. Three regulation L's in a row. I'm gonna try to move one of the defensemen on the second pair, see if we can boost that line chemistry a bit. I'm not even adding a defenseman, I'm just getting a third and Watson, maybe, if they'll even accept this. Propose that, yes, it will go through. So we're just calling up a defenseman from the AHL. Wait a minute, what the heck is going on here? Absolutely not. Wow, yeah, that helps spectacularly. Two wins in a row, finally going on a bit of a win streak here. Nice. Arizona, gonna hand us an L. Add Deno instead of Stull. We're losing about 300k of cap there, which is nice. And I don't think we really have to worry too much about that anymore. We're down at 72. I was about to say 7.2. Yeah, no, not not in this lifetime. Deno will be our new second line center, I would imagine, if this goes through. Cool. Or nah, they want Morgan Frost here, apparently. What the heck? Okay, fine. We went on a two-game win streak and then lost to the Senators, so time to make another move. How close are we to the trade deadline? Oh, we're so far away. I think if we ever do this again, it should be every two losses, because this is just getting... To be a little bit much. There we go. Still a dash two. Oh, because Sandheim just does not fit that line very well. Okay, so maybe Sandheim's got to go. Two wins in a row against Metropolitan opponents there. Now we have Seattle. And we are going to take a overtime loss, which is alright. We can keep carrying on. A win in California against the Sharks. Another win? No. Unfortunately not. One for one. Travis Sandheim for Gavrikov. Will it go through? Maybe not. No, rejected. Not sufficient at all. Yo, chill with that. Check your attitude. What if I add a fourth? Just adding picks to every single trade here. All right, cool. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he doesn't fit it either. All right, Gavrikov, you're next. Two overtime losses in a row. Imagine it was overtime losses as well. That would have been three more trades right there, but we avoided it. Oh, no, we didn't avoid it against Carolina, though. Will Giordano fit the chemistry? Let's find out. Oh, sweet, it just a touch, eh? Well, we have a fifth in there. So what if I give you instead a sixth and a seventh and remove the fifth? Still no, just a bit low. I'll probably have to do... Well, I can probably do the fifth and the seventh and keep the sixth for now, then. Let's try that out. Propose? Yep. Oh, okay, it wants Giordano and Ellis on the first pair. They get a plus five. And then Suter and Subban here... Get his- okay, sure. Yeah, we'll take that. Eight to one? Gonna add Iafalo. And then we won't have Morgan Frost on the second line center spot anymore. There we go. Oh, okay, chill. We are slowly but surely getting to that trade deadline, finally. We don't have to go make one immediately. Shootout loss. We got the Detroit Red Wings now. Yes. Fire me up, Philly. Columbus. Okay. No! Ranta's actually playing like trash, so I'm gonna get rid of him. Ranta for Anderson and a third. Trade accepted. Nice. All right, that's three games now where we haven't had to leave this screen. Can we make it four? No, we absolutely cannot. The team that just beat us. Can I take them? No, I cannot. Not even close. Wow. Okay. What about a fifth? I just want to, you know, get a draft pick because I feel like one for one, I'm getting absolutely fleeced here. Even this is brutal, but all right. I really hope that we win this game or get an overtime loss because I don't want to have to... Yes, thank you! We get a big break. Another trade inbound this time by the hands of the St. Louis Blues. I got a crazy one for you. Oh, never mind. I don't got a crazy one for you. I got a crazy one for you? No. I mean, I could make this go through. I just have to, like, two-thirds and a sixth, maybe? That will work. Proposed trade? Just a touch. GG to all of our draft picks, by the way. They have left the building. Proposed trade, still no. I'll just give you the fifth then, screw it. There you go. What? I'm still gonna do it. I, I am still gonna do it, I don't care. Just give me this freaking player. Proposed trade, nice. And it's still a plus five. Another loss, but I see the trade deadline, it's so close. Not really big on this trade, but let's see if we can make it work anyway. No, what if I get rid of this? 
Trade accepted. Voracek perfectly fits the line chemistry there. That is huge. Kopitar is very close as well. Cam Atkinson's actually the one that doesn't really. A win and then an overtime loss. We are safe for two games here. Not three though. Here we go. Toffoli isn't sufficient at all. Okay, let's add this pick then, which has a little bit more value. Isn't sufficient at all, you say. You also want this pick. What about that? Just a bit low. We're getting there. We're actually getting there. Skaters matching the block. Anyone here that we don't really need? Oh, yeah. Watson. I think he's on that last line and it actually has bad line chemistry. So maybe we could... Uh, what about... We could get rid of Ferk. He's a... Sn oh, yeah. Okay. See you later, dude. And we need to bring a player back. Are you joking me? What about you? This should... He should still be worth more, I think. Let's try it. Will it go through... Isn't sufficient at all, all of a sudden. I'm gonna add a sixth that they don't even want. And there we go. Remember when I said we weren't gonna trade the first line? Well, I got a whole new first line and they're still plus five. Not too many games left, but I have a feeling that this game's gonna make us suffer the most. Kopitar fits the chemistry so good that I really don't wanna do this. And I mean, he does have the X factor, but Sebastian's just unbelievable. Let's try it. Trade rejected. Okay, I kind of thought so. No rules here. No, still no. Tip it for Yoast. This might go through one for one. Maybe. Let's see. Proposed trade. Trade accepted. Our new third line centerman. Can we please win some games here? Nope. No, we can't. Free up some cap again, maybe? Proposed trade? I don't even know why I keep editing the lines. What's the point? We're just gonna have to do it again. We'll only need a maximum of three more trades. Let's see if they push us to the limit. Can we also take a dub against the Preds? We sure can. Are we done? We're done. We're actually done. We can't make any more trades because it's, you know, trade deadline time. I guess let's jump in. I was actually going to avoid it because I've just seen way too many trades. I tried to find a trade for Truba and we could actually make one here. I think I'm going to get rid of Giordano and, you know, two draft picks, but... Yeah, that's a decent player to grab at the deadline here. I could trade Brink for Connor Brown, so let's accept that as well. And on that note, I'm out of here. Eric Carlson to New Jersey in exchange for a first, a second, and Iconin. All right. Let's go put our lines together. This is the last time we'll have to do it. Truba and Yandel really don't like each other, but we're going to have to live with that. There's our offense. We got a plus five on the first line still. Our defense and our netminders. How's Craig Anderson doing anyway? He has a 919, so he's doing pretty good. Last I checked, Carter Hart had a 925, so he was killing it. Fell off a little bit, but he has gone up to 85 overall. And now it doesn't matter if we lose, which we are doing a whole bunch of. Ah, uh, yes, the post-trade deadline collapse. A true classic. What? We made it? How did that happen? We must be wild carded to the max. I guess we did have 92 points. That's actually a pretty good season overall. Yeah, you can't really be too upset about that. Let's check out the entire league. So with 92 points, where do we finish? Is it top 16? Oh yeah. Nice. We're 13th in the league. We take that for sure. Anze had the most points with 80. We got a nice amount from Toffoli. Connor Brown put up 59, but was a dash 16. Hopefully that was before he came to us. Let's find out. He was a dash four for us and a dash 12 in Ottawa. So yeah, not too bad. Let's just go through the entire team here. There we go. Goaltenders. Oh, wow. Carter really fell. He had a 908 by the end of the year. But Anderson with a 920 did very well. McKinnon led the league. The guy we tried to pick up and had absolutely no chance at, but it was worth the effort. Got 102, only player to break 100. Passed out with 96, Crosby 96, and Marchand. Ranton in 95. So there's your top forwards. Defensively, we have Petrangelo with 68. Yossi 65. Uh, 63 from Hamilton. Shabbat. Oh wow, a lot of 63s. That is interesting to say the least. A big tie there for third. Annette Vasilevsky had the most wins with 43. He had a 916 and a 928 from Linus Allmark. He slayed Annette this year. I really don't imagine us having a good playoff run, but you never know. Let's see here. We got the Bruins and we are... Oh, we started off. Wow, it's going to a game seven. Stop the simulation. No! I wanted to at least watch it live. Whatever. Okay, we pushed it to game seven. That's... 
Not bad. Carolina wins the Stanley Cup and the Charlotte Checkers, who used to be their AHL team, I don't believe they are anymore, won the Calder Cup. So let's check out the awards here. Yeah, we knew that. President's Trophy went to the Golden Knights. St. Louis made it to the finals. Individually, we got Nate Mack with the Art Ross and the Hearts. Petrangelo with the Norris. Nate Mack also gets the Lady Bing. Mercer with the Calder. Sebastian, who we also tried to get, gets the Con Smythe. Allmark with the Vesna and the Jennings. Osterley gets the Masterton. Perot gets the Jack Adams. O'Reilly takes home the Selkie. McKinnon with the Lindsay. And Ovi with the Rocket Richard. All right, so we definitely have to tweak this one a little bit because this was too much. It was a lot. It's a great concept. Wonderful idea. We need to tweak it just a touch. So let me know what you guys suggest. I was thinking if we lose back-to-back -back games in regulation, then we have to make a trade or something like that. That would be a little bit better, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what else I expected. Because obviously you are going to lose a bunch of games. I just guess I wasn't really fully prepared, you know? Like, my brain didn't register it completely. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And I also appreciate you giving me these fire ideas. I hope it's entertaining. I'll see you guys soon.